Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back to another Geek Arts Gaming video. Merry Christmas everyone. It's so cool to have my first Christmas experience in Marvel Contest of Champions. Um, for those of you who are new to the channel, a very warm welcome to you. Today I've got a very very big crystal opening compilation. So uh, this is a collection of crystals that I have opened up over the past couple of weeks and uh, I wanted to share that with you. Let's call this the epic Christmas opening. Let's get started. Okay, here we are. So, in the first a little batch here, we've got the uncollected arena crystals. Now, I've uh, got about 15 tries here at the 5 star Punisher. So let's go ahead and uh, start with 10. Um, I'm hoping that I can get a little bit lucky here. And I'm uh, most likely just gonna pop these open. So 10, so many, so many battleships. There. Okay, so 200 thousand gold uh, if you're wondering why my gold stash is so high that's that's the reason right there unfortunately no units or no five star punisher in sight let's go with another five here and that's gonna drain our battleship stash and again 228,000 gold uh, moving on to the four star crystals we've got six crystals here and that is six tries at a new champion. Let's start up the first one. I decided to spin these ones out. Uh, as you can see, I started when I was at level 56, and we've just taken advantage of the uh, of the energy, and we've just taken advantage of the um, experience boost that was taking place uh, last week. So we we worked our way all the way up to level 60 there, and landing on a dupe of. Uh, bloody Spider-Man symbiote. Not, not the best, not the best. I already had him, uh, unfortunately. So, yeah, nothing new there. Let's move on to the second crystal here. Um, so this was uh, a couple days later. And what do we have in store? Let's find out. Fingers crossed here. And uh, what is it gonna land on? Really, really hoping for that Stark Spider-Man. It's been uh, a little while now that he's been added to the premium hero crystals as well as the four star crystals. And um, and then we land on a rogue. So that's very cool. Very excited about this champion. I did not have her, so it was the first time there. I do also happen to have a four star mutant awakening gem. So that's really awesome. Moving on to the third uh, crystal. This was uh, a week later. And uh, as you can see, we also hit level 57 there, so that's pretty cool. And uh, what is it gonna land on? Will we get lucky and pull that Stark Spider Man? I certainly, certainly hope so, but uh, here we go. Stopping in 3, 2, 1, and it's gonna land on a storm. So, two chances there. Storm has, uh, they were back to back in the reel there. And um, that was also the first time, first time pulling that champion. So quite, quite happy about that. Uh, it gives us a little more firepower with that mutant synergy team. So that's really cool. Really, really happy about that. Um, moving on to the next crystal. I believe this is crystal number four. And um, I popped this one straight open, and as a result. <laughs> pulled, pulled that damn She-Hulk. Uh, bit of, uh, bit of pain there. Uh, right in the feelings, you guys. Right in the feelings. Um, so here's crystal number five. Four star crystal number five. As you can see, we had hit level sixty already. So really took advantage of that, uh, of that experience boost. Um, highly, highly recommend that you guys take advantage of that experience boost if it comes around again if you did so uh well done uh i decided that one of my goals for this december was to um was to try to hit level 60 as well as reach 300k in rating so uh yeah as a result uh, we were able to achieve both those 
uh, gold, so that's really cool. Unfortunately, we pulled the Colossus there and getting kabammed a little bit. Uh, last crystal here, what is it gonna be? <laughs> oh man, I, I'm not gonna say anything, um, but go ahead and take a look. Go ahead and take a look. And uh, it's going to be a... What is it gonna be? What is it gonna be? It's going to be a... Um... <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. Oh man, yep, kabammed again, unfortunately. Unfortunately, we got kabammed here. So, um, it was the first time duping him though, so I'm, I'm glad that we got that ability, um, that awakened ability there, so... Might be able to use him on defense or something if I ever do decide to uh, to rank him up. Um, here is the Grandmaster Crystal. We've got two of these in this particular video. So this was one of the Grandmaster Crystals that I had saved up while I was at level 56. I think this was the first one possibly um, after we had become uncollected. And uh, really, really hoping for a 5-star pull here as most people do. What is it going to land on? Let's find out. And it is going to land on a 3-star version of spider Boy, and unfortunately... Alright, and in this one we decided to buy one of those MODOK crystals, featured Grandmaster MODOK crystals. Just to try our luck and see if we actually were able to, uh, to get really lucky and, and pull that 5-star uh, version of MODOK. I'm really, um, I'm really liking the champion, especially for defense, but uh, let's take a look and see uh, if we get lucky or not. This, uh, this, this particular crystal has a chance of giving us either a uh, 3, 4, or 5 star version at uh, Modoc as well as some of the other featured champions. As you can see, he did uh, show up in the reel there. And what is it going to land on? It unfortunately is going to land on a 3 star version of uh, Moon Knight. So sadly, sadly, not getting too lucky there. Um, let's move on. I, For those of you who don't know, I did happen to pick up that deal a little while ago. I think I was doing Halloween with the 5 star Awakening Gem. So here is my little video uh, opening that crystal. And uh, for those of you who don't know, my highest rated 5 star champion at the moment is Magic. We were really, really lucky to get her as a sort of miss while we are trying to start Spider-Man. Um, so really happy that we got her and uh, kind of hoping that we pull the, the Mystic <laughs> the Mystic Awakening Gem. I decided to try a little bit of a technique here to see uh, where the crystal comes from and that sort of thing. Uh, apparently if it comes from the bottom right side of the screen, you might be uh, eligible for a Mystic uh, version of that particular item. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> I'm not sure if that's true or not. I decided to try it out though. So. Here it is, um, what is it going to land on, let's find out, and is it going to be Mystic? Uh, very very close to a mutant gem there, but it lands on a skill, and uh, that means that uh, we potentially have what we need to awaken Blade. Uh, for those of you <laughs> uh, who have been following the channel, I think uh, we would be saving for Blade. Um, and when he does come around again in the featured wheel. As you can see, our crystal stash there is uh, is starting to add up. Here's uh, here's my final opening, one 5-star crystal. I decided to give it a go, um, just kind of close out uh, this video. Uh, again, this was while I was at level 58, and I got a little bit tempted and decided to just go ahead and open up this crystal. Got quite a few cool champions in there, and unfortunately landing on a uh, Silver Warrior there. Anyways guys, I hope that uh, you liked the video. If you did, go ahead and give this a, a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Love to have you as part of the Geek Arts community. I hope you have a very, very uh, Merry Christmas and uh, uh, wonderful New Year. We'll be streaming sometime this week as well and be doing, probably doing uh, another giveaway of uh, some cool artwork. Till then, take care guys and have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.